It's New Year's Day 2021. What better way to start a new year but to visit a cemetery? Here we are in Cathedral City, California, close to uh, Palm Springs. And this is only a few, uh, just a couple of miles from where uh, we have recently settled. So this area is sort of our hometown now. And the reason I'm coming up here today is because I wanted to show you the grave of Francis Albert Sinatra. Now, when Frank died in 1998, it was obviously, it was worldwide news, it was huge. And I have Frank's memorial folder from his actual funeral that took place in Beverly Hills. And then his body was brought here to Palm Springs, or technically Cathedral City, for burial. And what I'm gonna show you now is Frank's memorial folder. While America was settled down to watch the final episode of Seinfeld being shown on television, an ambulance was called to 915 North Foothill Road to pick up Frank Sinatra and take him to Cedars Sinai Medical Center. Now, Barbara Sinatra's wife was having dinner with friends and Frank's children were watching that television program, and they were all notified that Frank uh, was taken to the hospital. Now, there have been a couple of reports about how Frank uh, ended his life, or I should say how his life ended. His buddy, Tony Epidisano, said he held Frank's hand as Barbara said to him, Frank, you've got to fight for your life. And Frank's last words were, I'm losing. According to Barbara, his wife, uh, she got to the hospital and found him on a gurney. She said, you've got to fight. He opened his mouth to speak. Leaning over, I heard him whisper the words, I can't. Then he closed his eyes forever. Frank died at 10.50 p.m. at Cedars Sinai Medical Center. His cause of death, cardiopulmonary arrest, acute myocardial infarction, and coronary arterial sclerosis, which he'd had for years. Um, he'd been in ill health for many years, and uh, it didn't come out of nowhere that Frank passed away. Now, his funeral was held at Good Shepherd Catholic Church in Beverly Hills. I have the program from Frank's funeral here. And it tells you the order of service. It was uh, uh, for Frank, December 12th, he was born 1915. May 14th, 1998 is when he passed away. Uh, Cardinal Mahoney was uh, the person, the, 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 the priest that handled the, uh, the arrangements, or I should say the service. And uh, you can see the introductory, the musical interlude, and uh, Cardinal Mahoney. New Testament reading, hallelujah, the choir and congregation, the gospel. Again, the homily, Cardinal Mahoney. And uh, presentations of the gift, that's the wine and the, the host. And, and the different uh, hymns that were sung your dreams away the closing prayer now different people uh took you know took some time to uh to give memories of frank kirk douglas robert marks gregory peck george schlatter frank Sinatra jr and robert wagner and the commendations and farewell interesting no frank sinatra music was played now you could see the different participants. There's some names, Tony Bennett, Angie Dickinson, Kirk Douglas, um, and I mean no disrespect to the people I'm not mentioning, but those are just the Alan King, Bob Newhart. Um, there's Tony that was just mentioning, Gregory Peck, Sidney Poitier, George Slatter, the producer, Frank Jr., Tina, and uh, Robert Wagner, Paul Bearers, Tom Dreesen, Nathan Golden, Steve Lawrence, Robert Marks, again Tony, Don Rickles, Frank Sinatra Jr., and Elliot Weissman. Honorary pallbearers, Tony Wayne, Milton Burrow, Gregory Peck, Berg Borgnine, Susan Reynolds, Hank Catano, 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 Hank Catano, George Slatter, Kirk Douglas, Danny Schwartz, Quincy Jones, Jerry Vale, Billy May, and Jerry Wantrub, and the chorus sang him out. Now, according to somebody in a uh, tabloid interview that I read, that they waited six days to bury Frank. He took him to Palm Springs, 
and back to the cemetery now. It's a beautiful New Year's Day 2021. We are in Desert Memorial Park, which has really odd hours because of COVID. They, they're they're only open Monday through Friday till 4.30 and the weekends till noon, which is interesting, but we came here because we wanted to find Frank Sinatra. And he's at the other end of the section, so we're gonna head over there now. And uh, this is a memorial park because all the tombstones are laying flat and they're not uh, standing stones. So it's easier for maintenance. You can thank Dr. Hubert Eaton of Forest Lawn for that. There are several famous people in here, but we wanted to go to see Frank today. I uh, watched a documentary or an interview with Don Rickles uh, this afternoon on Larry King, and he talked a lot about Frank. And I was talking to Virginia Graham yesterday, and Virginia Graham was the, uh, well, I know her or I met her because she was the woman who uh, solved or cracked the Manson case when Susan Atkins confessed to her in prison and she contacted authorities and that busted open the whole Manson case. Nobody at that point knew what it was about and she found out and she she snitched. <laughs> anyway, she was a good friend of Sinatra's. We talked for quite a long time about him last night too because we, we have become pretty decent friends. And uh, a couple of the things that she told me were just interesting is that Frank was... Uh, He's only 5'8". That's what she guessed him to be. I don't know. I could probably quit Google will tell you. But he was also afraid of flying. And that was even before his mother died uh, in a plane crash that he was afraid to fly. Okay, here's an interesting aside for you. Uh, Frank's mother, Dolly, her real name was Natalie, uh, was 80 years old. She loved to gamble. Uh, she loved to hang out in Vegas when Frank was doing shows there. Uh, she hated losing, so Frank would have them rig the slot machine, so she kept on winning. But she lived uh, in Palm Springs. Now, uh, in January 6th of 1977, he was about to open at Caesars, and he chartered a plane to take Dolly from Palm Springs to Las Vegas to catch the opening night. Unfortunately, shortly after her uh, takeoff, uh, her plane disappeared from radar. The plane actually slammed into San Gorgonio or Gorgonio Mountain uh, near um, Cabazon. And if you look in the background of this video behind the dinosaurs, the very cool Cabazon dinosaurs, uh, you will see the mountains that uh, Dolly Sinatra slammed into and was killed along with uh, the two pilots and uh, and three other passengers. And it was it was deemed to be crew error that that happened. And Frank Sinatra actually went and did two shows that night after he was notified uh, that his mother had been killed. And interesting to note, 11 years later, Dean Paul Martin, the son of Dean Martin, who was in the Air National Guard, was killed in a plane crash on that very same mountain. He used to live on Wilshire Boulevard, both Virginia and he had apartments close to each other on Wilshire. And she said one time they were passing the Beverly Hills Hotel and there was a kid out there, or um, Regent Beverly Wilshire Hotel. And there was a kid out there selling newspapers who Frank knew, I guess, and uh, asked him about his father because I guess his father had been ill. And uh, and the kid said that he's still at home sick. So, so Frank uh, pulled out a wad of money and, and handed a few hundred dollars to the kid and said, go home and tell your dad Frank says hi. As you said, he was pretty good-natured, very generous, but also uh, had a temper. Not uh, anything that she ever saw as far as abuse goes, but uh, she said that, you know, he could, he, he reacted quite strongly when, um, when certain things pissed him off. But Rickles told some great stories about Sinatra, and he, I think he was the only one that could really get away with uh, saying, <laughs> saying some pretty pretty uh not nasty good natured but a lot of people wouldn't go there with frank and and he did so uh it's a really modest grave and we checked it out a little bit earlier and it was sort of a surprise today because frank got a new look now we'll just go along some of the uh other graves in the same area
and forget the shadows. This is uh, Frank's dad. This is Frank's mother, Natalie. This is a, uh, a nephew, I believe. And save him for last. Here's Barbara, formerly married to, um, I think it was Zeppo Marx. But over here with a brand new look is Francis Albert Sinatra. Now the style of his stone was uh, sort of like that one. Well, actually more like that one, I think. But it was looking really rough. So I think the family may have just replaced it out of, uh, just to fancy it up a little bit. Or someone stole it, but I doubt that happened. But it's funny when I stumbled on this because, you know, I'm sort of in the death world, I guess you could say. And um, when things happen celebrity-wise that uh, change, I usually hear about it. So this is the first I'd heard about it when I stumbled on it. So you guys, as far as I know, are the first people to see Frank Sinatra's new tombstone here at Desert Memorial Park in Cathedral City. California. Inside Frank's casket is a roll of dimes. Frank always carried a roll of dimes after his son was kidnapped in 63 and he needed money to use payphones to call the abductors. A flask of Jack Daniels is in there, stuffed animals from his grandchildren, a pack of camels, cigarettes, his Zippo lighter, Tootsie Rolls and Cherry Lifesavers, and a gold Bulgari medallion which his wife gave him, inscribed in Italian, you still give me a thrill. He's also buried with a dog biscuit. I want to take a moment to thank the people that are sponsoring this page on the Patreon link, which is below in the description. Uh, Lucky Seven Tattoo, Sean Hamilton, Lisa Albinger, Eden, Kimberly Jolly, Deborah Serio, Susan Tellez, Jackie Harpole, Thomas Tomlinson, Ann Santos, and Jen Marie Stiber. Nancy and Ron Kruzik, who uh, you guys have been very, very generous to me, and thank you so much. It's so appreciated. Everyone, thank you so much. It's so appreciated. Uh, happy 2021, and I hope all things good come to everyone. Thanks. You heard me.